middle school, or as we like to call it, Mary University. University. Come on in. <laughs> this is our front office. Come in. This is where most people check in right here. We have our principal's office, Dr. Henderson, right there. We have our wall of colleges inside the like shape of wings. We have the assistant principal, secretary, and um, secretary. We have the attendant's office, Miss Jackie. Right here we have our assistant principal, Mr. Gogos. And then we, this is our health office, Ms. Brianna. This is our uh, PBIS coordinator, Mr. Ramirez. Hi, I'm Dr. Rosalind Henderson, the proud principal of March Middle School. And I'm Paula Navarro. I'm the AVID coordinator here at March. We are very excited to share with you some of the amazing things that we're doing here at March. March is located in Southern California, 60 miles east of Los Angeles in a suburban area. A few key demographics for you, 15% of our population is English language learners, 18% is students with disabilities, and roughly 98.3% of our students receive free and reduced lunch. A, a few notes of distinction, we have received the PBIS medal platinum two years in a row and received the national schools to watch as well. And we are also an avid site of distinction. So over the last couple of years, we have been re working really hard to streamline some of our programs and to align them with the AVID framework. Uh, we are also using the um, essential skills that you'll see throughout our presentation to show the intentionality behind uh, some of our work. And, um, and in that process to try to use the AVID framework as, a far, as our foundation to propel our work forward. We have intentionally built these essential skills not only into our elective program, but also into all of our school-wide initiatives um, that fall within the four AVID domains. Our first domain is instruction. This ties right into our site goal of increasing academic achievement through high school readiness for all students. We're doing this using the AVID demonstration process. The essential skill that ties into this is insist on rigor. Now let's hear from some of our staff and take a deeper look. Hi, I'm Angela Brennan and I'm the instructional coach here at March Middle School. Uh, one way at March that we ensure that all our staff is, are trained in uh, WICRA strategies is that our coordinator uh, went ahead and created a PD list by department of the different strategies in WICRA and she um, gave training dates and during staff meetings um, each department was given a time to actually train the staff and then talk about how they use the strategy in their classroom. Um, it was or it is a really great way for our staff to see um, how a wicker strategy is utilized and it gives other teachers uh, an idea of how they can use it in their classrooms as well. Another way that we measure the success of our uh, wicker implementation of the strategies is through our instructional rounds. Uh, so basically I create a schedule of all the departments and what we'll do is once a week, I will have one member of the department or a department walk with the AVID coordinator, an AVID team member and myself and maybe an admin and we'll go into uh, the different classrooms and uh, see if wicker strategies are being implemented. It's been a great learning experience for the team uh, to go ahead and see if uh, we saw any wicker strategies um, taking place. And it also gives us data if it isn't so that we know that maybe we have to provide more training. And um, what I feel is the most beneficial is after we do our rounds, we come back, we talk about the things that we saw, um, and there's a lot of good conversation about whether or not something is a strategy. So through those conversations, uh, we're all learning, continuing to learn and, and develop as a staff.
The next domain is systems. You'll be able to see some of the work that our site team has done, um, as well as our tutors. Our site team has decided this year to recommit to AVID, and we have also decided to uh, break away from the leadership team in order to give AVID the time that it needs in order to be fully committed. This means we use time within the school day to meet with students to check the effectiveness of our implementation. This allows us to uh, gather data and to create action plans um, in order to propel the work uh, forward. The essential skills that are covered within this domain are insist on rigor and aligning the work. Now let's hear from some of our team members. Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Joaquin Robinson and I teach sixth grade math and science here at March Middle School. I'm also privileged enough to be part of the AVID site team here on campus. We've been an AVID site of distinction for quite a, quite a while now. About a year and a half ago, we made a recommitment uh, to our AVID goals. And with that, we designated protected time during the school day for our, for our action planning. That action plan was also supported with budget behind it. Here at March Middle School, our site team has the focus of three main goals. We meet on a, we meet on a monthly basis, and during those meetings, uh, to, to coincide with our three goals, we also have students who come out of class and we're checking for three things. We're checking for their binder checks, planner checks, and note checks. And these three things that we're checking on send us in the direction of our goals of focus notes, critical reading, and a college-going culture. When the students come out of class, what we're looking for with their binder checks is, one, do they have a binder? Two, is it organized? Or three, is it not organized? When we're looking at their planners, we want to know, are their planners filled out? Are they not filled out? Do they not have one? And then lastly, with our note checks, are our students on the road to the five phases of AVID notes that we'd like to see all students, uh, that we'd like to see all students on campus engaging in? As, as to our second goal, critical reading, the acronym that we came up with as a team to extend us even further into this goal is Get Mas. The MAS and MAS is going to be for mark the text, add to the margins, and sketch the text. Our goal here is that we want to see our students interacting with the text in at least three different ways. Attention teachers, please send student number two from your roster to the lunch tables with their stuff. Hi, this is our eighth grade AVID class and today we're doing tutorials. Tutorials help us clarify a point of confusion. Hi, I'm Karina and I currently attend the University of California, Riverside. Hi, I'm Valeria and I currently attend Moreno Valley Community College. Hi, I'm Linnea and I currently attend Riverside Community College. Hi, my name is Amari and I currently attend Moreno Valley Community College. As AVID uh, tutors, we each have our own binder to keep track of the students' progress week by week. For the tutorial participation chart, we keep track of the presenters, the participation, the no participation, and the resources, the planners, and the incomplete tutorials of each of our students. For the tutor checklist, um, it is required to have tutorial setups, which contains of their boards, markers, folders, name tents, bins, student resources, which consist of their TRFs, three column notes, and their notebooks. The planner check as well, that contains of um, highlighters, and participation charts. Tutorial breakdown consists of their boards, one tutor in the pod, materials, tables. <clears throat> materials that are required are their boards, markers, name magnets, folders, and our tutor binder. 
In the tutorial data form, we also like to talk about the TRF completion, the plan of comp completion, the organized binder, and the percentage of Ds and Fs. On my chart, I have the students who I have for my group that has the TRF complete, the planner, and the organized binders. For the percentage of the Ds and Fs, we will have Ms. Amari talk about the request form that we have for the students to get help. So each of us in our binders have a class roster where we can mark off students that need extra help, whether it's with their grades or their TRFs, so that the teacher can request them for flex and they can get extra time. Our next domain is leadership. Here at March, we determined there was a need for clarity around our purpose and our goals in middle school. Utilizing the AVID framework, we restructured our leadership systems to ensure site-wide support and collaboration. The essential skills aligned to our work here our student agency, breaking down barriers, align the work. Now let's hear from the staff to take a deeper look. Hi, I'm Catherine. Welcome to March Middle School. I'll be your counselor of the day. At March, we're working towards being high school ready and having a successful transition to high school. We want all of our students to be a model maverick. To be a model maverick, students will need to work to achieve at least two of our eight metrics, like 3.0 GPA, no Ds or Fs, avid or scholars for three years, high school class, CASAP scores of 3 out of 2, 2 years of leadership like ASB plus Cadet Corp, uh, Yale reclassification, and PACT of at least 900. I'm choosing to work towards a 3.0 GPA and no Ds or F grades by the end of my 8th grade year. What two model maverick metrics will you choose to work towards? Hello, welcome to March Middle School. I'm Ms. Vance, counselor um, and part of the AVID program and site team. I want to introduce you a little bit to our high school readiness program and our high school readiness indicators that we've deemed the model maverick. It's really exciting to get to work on this type of uh, program for our AVID students, but also taking AVID school-wide. So one of the big important things that we noticed when we started here at March Middle School and doing the work for taking our AVID program school-wide is we needed a common mission for our students, not only our AVID students, but our general population as well. So one thing that we were able to do was take a look at the college career indicators at the high school level. These are the basic things that high school students um, do or complete to predict their college readiness. We backwards mapped from those college career indicators from the state of California and created high school readiness indicators here at March Middle School. We call them our high school readiness indicators, our HSRI, or our model maverick metrics. Because we're a data-driven school site, following our students who are prepared for high school was very important to us. Once we had established the eight model maverick metrics, we decided to look at our class of 2026 and their first year in high school. We followed them through to see how many credits they would earn and what their GPA was. So for our students who were prepared, 91% of them earned all of their high school credits their freshman year. 96% were above a 2.0 GPA for their entire freshman year. For us, we felt this was a pretty valid measurement, and so we decided that we would continue to take this out to our students at March. So we began our Model Maverick campaign. Additionally, for the students who did not show as prepared when leaving middle school, we were able to provide a list for early intervention at our feeder high schools. My name is Pam Rosinski. I'm the STEAM Lab Coordinator. My name is Roger Ramirez. I'm the PBIS Coordinator. My name is Chris Byers and I'm the Sports Coordinator. As a STEAM Lab Coordinator, I have all students come into the STEAM Lab to participate in collaborative cross-curricular activities. This helps with our school-wide goal of increasing CAF scores and we do this by incorporating all of our AVID strategies site-wide. As a PBIS coordinator, my area of focus is the high school readiness indicator of D and F rates. Uh, one resource that guides my focus is the coordinator rubric that we created as a team, which is based on the AVID framework. Uh, for example, my domain or one area of domain that I focus on is culture, which focuses on incentivizing students. So uh, for example, by the end of the year, um, based on data, we know that we're gonna reward at least 80% of our students through Maverick of the Month, or through our uh, March cards. Um, using this as a resource and our coordinated me meetings, we're making sure that PBA PBIS initiatives are implemented school-wide. 
As a sports coordinator here at Marks Middle School, I'm in charge of looking at a lot of data and we look at the D's and F rates for our student athletes. And we do this during our coordinator meetings in which we utilize the average framework to help support our cycles. Our last domain is culture. We wanted to create a culture where our students felt empowered, heard, and motivated to achieve their goals and maximize their potential. Part of the work that we're doing towards transforming our culture is our newest Maverick University campaign. At the heart of this campaign is the student-led professional development. The essential skills that are aligned with this domain are student agency and opportunity knowledge. Now let's hear from Ms. Garcia, our site secretary. AVID has changed our school culture in many ways. Uh, to start off, Maverick University has impacted our school from our front office all the way throughout the students in our school. We want everybody to have a college going mentality. Um, AVID is not only for the students or the teachers, it's also for classified staff as we are being trained to support and understand our vision to our school. AVID has changed our school culture in many ways uh, to start off. Uh, Maverick University has impacted our school um, from starting our front office all the way to our students throughout the school. Um, we would like for everybody to have a college going mentality. Um, also, AVID is not only for students or teachers, it's also for classified as we are being trained um, in order to better support our students and understand the vision of our school. In our library, some of our AVID students are going to be showing you their professional development. As AVID students, we give valuable opportunities to be leaders on campus. For example, in November, we were able to present to various schools throughout Riverside County. Through this experience, we are able to gain confidence and social skills that we will be needing in the near future. We are grateful because we know our AVID program is preparing us for college, our future careers, and beyond. Thank you so much for your time and consideration. This continuous process to improve our AVID program has been rigorous but rewarding, and our school is a better place for it. I agree. Thank you so much for the opportunity. This has allowed us to work towards achieving our goals and actualize our vision. Once again, from March and our entire site, we appreciate all of your time and effort with this process. Thank you.